And we're live. We must be. Here we are. We are. This is good, huh? Yeah. It's yeah. never good, but no. here we are. Hop! Hey! Oh. It's a one wheel video. Hey, it's what been a while. Oh my god. We still love you guys. Yep. One wheelers and yeah. UCs alike. We're yeah. not talking about UCs today at all. I'm not doing it. You just did? I'm not gonna mention it. <laughs> not gonna mention it again. Actually, I probably will when I compare the prices of the. Just a, Anyways. Put a thought bubble of me looking at the Abrams. We're here to talk about the One Wheel GT, newly announced, and the One Wheel Pint X. I'm gonna start with the Pint X because it's less exciting, but also still news, and we'll be getting one on Monday. So on Monday, we'll film a proper full review. We'll do a full ride. Today is Saturday. Get the full experience. It is Saturday. <laughs> this might not even be edited and released until tomorrow or yeah, Monday. Yeah. We're getting better at it, but... Um, so the One Wheel Pint, the original one, had a, for people in the community that came from riding the one wheel XR, they had a problem. And the problem is the pushback came early and it came strong. Yeah. It was like, boom. And it, when I first experienced the pushback, I almost felt it was like throw me off the board. I just mm. wasn't expecting it because yeah. I, I had the original one wheel plus XR that had like such mild pushback. I thought I, I broke it. When yeah. I felt it the first you felt time, it? I yeah. Thought I broke it. Yeah. <laughs> it's kind of startling. Uh, and obviously they did it for, for safety to, so people can't push past the limit of the the board yeah. to reduce uh, the famous nose dives, but uh, that's besides the point. So they, the one wheel Pint X is what the one wheel Pint should have always been, but I understand why they didn't release it because if they released it a year ago when the, they didn't have a GT, it, it wouldn't XR have made obsolete. any sense because it makes it one well, XR almost obsolete. But not quite. Yeah, when Wheel XR still might always have its place because of the mild pushback, because yeah. of the custom customizability. Is that a word? Customization options? <laughs> yes. Lots of customization options. Uh, and those will come too, I'm sure, for the, for the GT. Um, anyway, I was really excited. They increased it by two miles or three kilometers, the, the top speed of the pint which is enough because the pushback was just a little bit too early on the pint mm. and just having that extra leeway um, yeah. is kind of nice. And they, of course, could only do it when they added more battery. They have less chance of, you know, overpowering the board. Right. So that's an exciting, it was much needed. People were like, I love the pint. I just wish it could go a little bit. Just a bit. Just a bit. A little bit further. And, and if they did it any more, it would have made the XR, yeah. current XR fully obsolete. If they were like six kilometers an hour, four, whatever that is, four point something miles an hour faster, it would have just been like, okay, well, yeah. you know, nobody ever wants to buy an XR again. For, <laughs> it's, you know. there, and I, I, I heard that they're, they're not discontinuing the XR, but if they show the XR sales and just plummeted it, I guess they're gonna probably uh, wipe it, but uh, it's gonna be around, they haven't discontinued it yet. Um, How long have we waited for this since Oh man, Gen well, one? For, for the GT, I haven't been waiting for the Pine Tex at all, but yeah, yeah. Um, I've been waiting for the GT. So I've been waiting since, what, when did the first one get released? 2018, early 2018. It got announced, I guess, in late 2017. It's like four years ago. Yeah. I've been riding the XR for four years, and okay. no wonder the community has built a bunch of mods because people yeah. have been wanting more, and finally Future Motion made more, so we're really stoked for that. It's like the, one of the biggest rock bands in the world came out with their seminal album, and everyone was just digging it, and they're like, <laughs> we're doing a four-year tour. <laughs> it doesn't get old. Everyone we got the purest, but some people started <laughs> listening to the new band, and yeah. now they've come back with album 2.0. Yeah, we're all, we're all excited for it. The community, uh, I can tell, is excited for it. Um, they're mostly the one-wheel GT. The one-wheel Pint is just a nice upgrade. You'll notice, actually, Future Motion never shows a Pint or Pint X riding off-road or on trails. Mm. They are only marketing that as city commuting. Mm. And um, I get it. They're trying to have two different markets they're trying to go after. Yep. Um, I mean, the, X, the XR and the GT, I'm sure, will be great on the street as well. Sure. But the Pint, they're really making it that city commuter, they're not even allowed to post a photo with that thing on a trail. I'm pretty sure. I don't think, I don't think I've ever seen one. Um, the front bumper, it's thick. With Real three thick. C's. <laughs> three C's. Um, and it's just empty. It's nothing in that. They wanted to, because the battery is obviously thicker to hold the, the, the bigger, larger battery mm -hmm. to get that, uh, mm -hmm. what is the range on it now? 29 kilometers of range. Um, Right. My old pint, I could only get like 11 kilometers range. Of that yeah, and I'm, I'm, a, I'm, I'm a thick with two C's kind of boy. <laughs> and I'm, I'm like seven, eight kilometers if I'm riding in any sort of cool temps. We're talking 
down, yeah. down the block. It's, it's not it's not good. Yeah. It, um, Hoverboard so range. We're getting know? XR level range now yeah. with uh, the Pint X, which is kind of cool for someone. And that little extra top speed, I think this is going to be a gem of a seller for them. Yeah. Um, not everybody wants the XR, not everybody wants to pay the price for an XR or a GT. Yeah. And um, I know in Canadian dollars, I believe the Pint X is going to be 1950 Canadian. <laughs> One point for US. Yeah. yeah, and there we go. <laughs> oh, so you pointed out. Yes. And the GT is supposed to be 2950 for the street tire version, I believe, and 3000 for the treaded tire version. But we'll get into more details about the GT in a sec. That's what I finish off in the Pint X. Uh, it's 27 pounds instead of 23 pounds. So it only adds four pounds for the extra battery. I mean, okay. I say only, but that's... That's, that's like a decent amount. That's like a full bottle of water. It's the XR weight. Yeah. Oh, well, XR is like 26 pounds, but if, once right. you put your accessories on it and stuff, it quickly goes to more than that. Um, I like how I just yeah. looked at a bottle of water. Just like, that's probably about four pounds if that was full. Yeah. <laughs> probably yeah. gone far. I'm pretty close. Yeah, it's a big water bottle. Yeah, it is. And large. metal. At least one liter. <laughs> solid metal. Um, but yeah, so Jeff McCosker from Float Life, they posted a video as soon as they got it they got it the next day which is kind of crazy i know yeah and it sh the pushback is still strong as hell he's, he's got some, some inside homies at one wheel you know regardless of what they think about maybe it. i maybe. can't get it that quick well, i mean it's probably like it's made he's in sacramento 20 miles down the road yeah it's like a two hour drive to yeah. get to santa cruz from sacramento i think yeah. i think i've done it a few times but i can't he had really a remember. he had a float life acolyte go take one from the back of one wheel and drive it actually they ship from they ship from san jose you know they, um, they don't ship from Santa Cruz. But or you know. Anyway, yes. <laughs> uh, one wheel GT, enough about the Pine X. It's awesome, it's needed, they're gonna, cool. Future Motion's gonna do well with That's it. It's great, excited to ride it. Um, what a, one thing I wanted to bond oh, the Pine yeah. X is in, in the video, Jeff McCosker talks about how because of the fitting that extra space, how much, you know, the, the normal kind of ramp on the nose was like this ish. 45 oh, yeah. degrees and it's now like, oh, yeah. Saying, again, why, it's, again, it's stuff. why they're not marketing it as a trail rider, most right. likely. Because okay. um, that would definitely affect the performance on trails. Yeah. I mean, it's still going to tap and hit the ground as well if you're like going on, I don't know, up curbs and whatnot. But I don't know, you know, people are going to, I wish they put a handle in that space. Yeah. They had, yeah, they know. have a lot, that's a lot of space. They could have put a little handle underneath. I, I love picking up the XR under that handle I know. and i wish they had they did that on the pine text being a climber i like giving it a good pinch and just uh, it hurts yeah, we'll, we'll see what like. the third party accessory community does but uh, one wheel plus gt this is the one I, uh, we've all been waiting for especially one wheel fans like the community has been really... i wasn't pointing at anything yeah actually. i know he hates it <laughs> when we're doing editing i point all over the place and he has to Don't add do them that. he hates it so i was just shooting a gun like a happy he hates, happy a, hates a strong gun. word yeah, but it's strongly dislike. it's rewarding afterward i think it's kind of funny looking at the me too i'll just keep doing I, it. I know i'm going to be doing it and yeah. be just putting exclamation marks up i don't yeah. know um anywho I'm excited for it. It gets over 50 kilometers range, Woo! 32 miles. See about that. And I will say when I'm riding in the city um, on pavement, I can usually get the max range that the one wheel offers as long as we're riding in the summer. I, I was consistently getting 30 kilometers on the one wheel XR and they only advertise what, 28, 29? Yeah. So as of max range. And there's a few things when it comes to riding, you can, if you're not making the board balance you as hard and when you're like keep your body centered over the wheel yeah i feel like you can actually get a little bit more range out of it you also get a little bit more speed because you're making the motor motor work less get those mantis hands going yeah you watch the, the yeah, flow life videos <laughs> um so their their estimated range is a lot better than euc companies damn it i mentioned eucs again I... or scooter companies oh. they're like the l9 gets 95 kilometers of range it does not it, yeah. it gets closer to 50 uh 55 maybe but the one wheel actually gets pretty close to the estimated range. Now I'm 170 pounds getting close to the estimated range. If you're heavier or you're riding trails, it's a different story. Yep. If I'm riding trails, I don't get anywhere close to the max range, but I am getting close to their minimum range. So right. Um, right. nonetheless, the added range is a huge bonus. Adding that range also adds more torque. It actually gets 50% more torque at speed, the GT. And that was like a kind of a stat they didn't really talk about that much. It was in a little 
glimpse in one of their Instagram posts. I think it's because they don't want to be like, you know, push this thing even harder, guys. Well, I can translate 50% more torque at speed. What it really means, it means less chance of a nosedive. Yeah. <laughs> it's, it gives you that little bit, a little extra uh, juice. Okay. Um, that was so Canadian the way I just said okay. Okay. By the way, if you guys couldn't tell, we're Canadian. Our website is in Canadian dollars. We've had a lot of listening. people complaining, especially in the last one. Yeah. Your prices are ridiculous. Oh my God. And, oh, well, that's roof. because the Canadian dollar is ridiculous. <laughs> we overpay for everything in Canada. Yeah. But if you do the currency conversion, it's we're about the same price as uh, major price. major competitors. Yeah. 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 With a better service. That's right. Yeah. <laughs> um, top speed: thirty-two kilometers an hour. That's fast. This is the big question: Is will the pushback? be like the pint Ooh. and this is the big question circling around the community Ooh. i really hope it's not yeah. the one thing that makes people love the xr so much is you if you want to push it you can yeah. and i would love if it's not love if the pushback's like the pint i'm very look very much looking forward to race for the rail and watching everyone ride the yeah. <laughs> ride the pushback and whoever yeah. has the strongest front foot you better start doing some left leg days or if you're, if you're regular left leg be... days <laughs> jack left leg and start getting that weight on that front foot to keep it teeth uh, but Something, i wonder I, I hope that there's supposed to be a digital shaping 3.0 so i hope that they change di digital shaping enough or maybe they'll actually let you adjust the aggressiveness of pushback. Doesn't now that's sound, a dream. I doesn't don't. Sound, uh, doesn't sound. Doesn't sound on brand. It's you know? likely not going to happen. But <laughs> sorry, guys. But if they did, the community would sing so much praises. Yep. So I get why they might not, because they're really trying to push safety. Hmm. The added battery adds more torque. It's. I think this wheel is going to be a lot safer with the added torque. Yeah. yeah. Um, often people nose die when they're pushing it past the limit. So they probably reserve a little bit of power to, for that pushback. So. Um, can warn you to stop but nonetheless i'm curious to see but it will be very entertaining watching these races mm. and uh if, if everyone has captain morgan feet trying to yeah. speed up but <laughs> um yeah. they have simple stop on the gt yeah. Off. <laughs> in my opinion for someone who's ridden a lot of rode a lot of one wheel a lot of a lot of m's a lot of k's a lot of k's or oh, 12,000 plus like a lot. kilometers miles yes <laughs> thank you um it's simple stop is kind of dumb if you're sitting in a stoplight if you even move backwards just a little bit if you're just balancing there it's gonna clunk down on you it's okay for beginners but honestly just learn how to dismount the og way mm. it's uh more natural or learn how to do the slam, slam stop, stop. Yeah. so that's my per personal favorite it's cooler too it's cooler looks more natural yeah um, but yeah, speaking of like that stop, the sensor pad is, I guess, didn't change now oh, to go the with the concave. The yeah. So they actually have front and back concaves, which I know they've obviously been listening to the community because yeah. that's something that we've been modding on our boards for a while. It's yep. nice that they're coming, uh, they're listening, they're coming stock now. And I'm curious to see if there's any changes to the actual sensor, like the, the, yeah. the design of it. We'll but take it apart. I mean, um, yeah. That's one of the things that like sets one wheel apart from like these competitors like trotter next to the firmware where you you ride a one wheel a one, yeah. and then you ride a trotter and you ride them off road trotter's got a lot of catching up yeah, to do yeah. with their in terms of firmware yeah um and then they also have a completely different uh, mounting system which i won't mm. get into uh in this video but it's just the one wheel is far superior yeah. in, in in every way um except the motor wattage whereas i think some of these trotters now have like a 1500 watt motor wild. they actually kept the same motor in the gt it is 750 watts exact same just motor? like the xr maybe two i don't know if it's the exact same motor same but power the gt also has higher voltage we don't know what the voltage is yet at least mm. i don't think so if i if they found out and i don't know yet i'm ashamed of myself for not knowing <laughs> if this we know fact. we'll put it right here <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> or just pointing it's at gonna be a right. question mark <laughs> oh <laughs> but uh the higher voltage what was i getting out with that i lost it's great the volts Bring the volts, baby. Oh, it could, yeah, it might make this, even though it's a 750 watt motor, it's still gonna give you more torque. So yeah. it might not matter that much, yeah. but I know people probably want a little bit more motor. Yeah. I know like the, I think the Inmotion V5F is like 700 watts or 750 watts. And that's like that $900 EUC. I just mm, talked yeah. about EUC. I was like, what are you talking oh, about? Damn. Damn. damn it. Is that a different one wheel I never heard of? Or? You need to start coughing when I'm about to. <laughs> 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 
We just compared the uh, base uh, level uh, EC to the uh, <laughs> top level uh, one wheel. I still love, I still love one wheel. Yeah, still love it. Um, let's talk about the tires. Ah, no more flat Vega. Mm. Oh. <laughs> Amazing. The problem is, what's the compound going to be like? The, the shape looks nice. We, I can't say much until I actually ride it. The tread yeah. looks interesting. It doesn't seem that treaded. Um, and the compound, I don't know, it just looks hard. I hope it's not hard. I hope it's it soft. Just looks hard. It's it just shiny. looks hard. It's, shiny. Yeah, it is. A, I hope it's a softer compound. Hard compounds on trail aren't, isn't that that fun, but hopefully they listen to the community in that point. Yeah. The one downside, and this is a little dig to future motion. Love you guys, but you make an awesome product, but let the community do their own tire changes. You can do bike tire changes. You can, people can do their own any, car, any, motors, any tire. Else. Yeah, every, any, a tire else. change is something you should let the community do. So you should sell the tires on your website, ship them to people. Don't force people, especially us poor Canadians. It's expensive to ship stuff down yeah, to, to the US just for a tire change. Yeah. And the people in Europe are like, oh, you poor Canadians. <laughs> yeah, and if they don't sell these, what's going to happen? I mean, it's going to happen regardless is flight fins, craft and ride, and the float life are all going to make their own custom one wheel tires. Yeah. It sucks as the new one 6.5 inch instead of 6 inch. So all the XR tires aren't going to fit onto this rim. Yep. Um, and it's, it's gonna, they're going to have to make a bunch of new tires, which is kind of exciting at the yeah, same exactly, time. Yeah, exactly. But if one wheel feature motion would just. I'll ship out the one the tires to let people do their own tire changes release a proper video if you want to make sure people are doing it correctly or yeah. get them to go to an authorized dealer um, tons of people are doing tire changes out there yeah. yeah oh one of the more important things go on the water resistance uh. so a lot of people don't realize and I don't know if I'm supposed to talk about this but one wheel pint uh, is really, really water resistant. Like submergible almost. Like there may have been tests done where people were submerging them in water and they survived. That being said, I have had a customer come in that somehow he got water through his gaskets. He, one of the gaskets might've been pinched. So it's not foolproof. You shouldn't be like thinking you could ride in torrential downpours and giant, mm. through giant puddles, mm. but it's surprisingly water res resistant, way more than the One Wheel Plus XR. That One Wheel XR, you never know. It, it, it's, I know a lot of people that have water damage your XR. Yeah. You shouldn't be riding in the rain. But I'm really hoping, and I'm not hoping, I'm almost certain that they have used similar gaskets, similar build design as the Pint and the Pint X. And I'm hoping they put that into the GT oh, so you can Vancouver actually then. ride oh. in, in, in the rain. Because yeah. yeah, here in Vancouver, let's be honest, it rains for five months of the year, yeah. more. Yeah. Like At it's least. raining right we, now. We live in a rainforest. Rain right um, yeah, it rains a, a lot. A cleared rainforest. Our, our uh, friendly neighbors in Seattle, they also get a lot of rain. So yeah. and Portland. So let's let's make this a little bit more water resistant. I'm sure it is. I'm sure it is. And uh, yeah, that is that is all I think. That's all I have to say. Yeah. Hope. Other than the brighter LEDs that I forgot oh. to talk about. <laughs> <laughs> it's lit, as they say on the website. Three hundred percent brighter. Uh, that's a lot. That's three times. Yeah. Guys. That's good. That's important. Uh, you don't need no fingers for that. People were oft often adding lights to their helmets or the sides, yeah. but if you rolled the one wheel, it would snap off. The shred lights didn't work very well. So having that brighter light is kind of nice, especially riding at night when it's kind of sketchy for potholes and whatnot. Yeah. Okay. That's a lot brighter. I think we covered everything. You've covered everything. I didn't do anything. I just sat here. Hey, and <laughs> color commentary. Color commentary is yeah. important. It's important. Yeah. Color shirt, color commentary. Yeah. If you guys like the corduroy fit, see you later. Oh, do not forget, do not forget to like, subscribe, yes. comment, engage. One person who comments in this video, we're going to take one of the commenters, we're going to send you a swag bag. Yeah, let's do some, it. Some EV stuff. Yeah. Yeah. There'll be some pretty cool stuff in there. We don't know what yet. We'll just make it up. Send it to you. Swag bag. Comment. Engage. Maybe we'll get you something very Canadian that you, you can't get down south. Yeah. I don't know. Cliche stuff. Ketchup chips, maple sugar. Ketchup maple, chips. Maple, hey, uh, maple ketchup sugar. chips are underrated. They're yeah, some, um, America, I tell, I tell Americans about ketchup chips and they're like, ew. Ketchup. That's disgusting. Ketchup. Like, that sounds gross. Yeah, and there's like, other ones. Like okay. sour cream and onion or something isn't down there. Uh, there's they don't have sour cream I and onion. so. Maybe I'm don't. Okay, don't, don't. I know they don't have all dressed. That might and be. And dill yeah. pickle is like a newish thing to, to the comment through. It's just gonna be chip flavors. <laughs> <laughs> this is cool. I know it's because when I was touring around the US, I, yeah. every time I, we go to the gas station for a snack, and, yeah. and I'm like, like, they don't have dill pickle. They yeah. don't have dill ketchup. Pickle, that's one they, too. They don't have all dressed. Yeah. But then all, there is all dressed, but it tastes like some weird 
Oh yeah, it's different. It's like yeah. a different formula. I heard that there's like flavor. We're going way off. It's the end of the video, so you can always just yeah, end it whenever yeah. you want. But I heard that they have flavor <laughs> scientists, <laughs> <laughs> flavor scientists that uh, like have flavor pro profiles for people in different countries, and they like literally like change I've heard the that too, yeah. yeah. So like Americans have a f different flavor profile to Canadians. We prefer more tangy flavors. Mm -hmm. Americans prefer more savory flavors. That's because we're a Commonwealth country, you know. You yeah, that probably tangy. that fish and chips vinegar yeah, I've from, my, the, I've my tastes. <laughs> from the UK. Yeah. Um, anyways, that is all. Comment I'm, and give us some chips. Are you hungry? I'm really hungry. Yeah, I've been yeah. fasting for a while. All right. Let us know what you, you want us to send you. What can't you get in America that's yeah, from Canada? Maple exactly. syrup? Let's get really cliche here. Have, so I'm sure some people have some ideas of stuff you can get in Canada that you can't get Send them a America. hockey stick? Should we just send them a... I was thinking something <laughs> that's else. That's be a big ass package. <laughs> What's legal in Canada that's not legal federally <laughs> in America? I don't know. Oh, oh yeah. Oh. Uh, we won't be doing that. We will not do that. Sorry. It's no. illegal. Very, very much illegal. I'm talking about ketchup chips, by the oh. way. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Sorry. See you want to light one up? Yeah, smoke. <laughs> Let's smoke, baby. We can bake.